guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i think the video that is in the building <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I have decorated my coffee table. Is it coffee table or center table? Because right now, I don't know which one it is. But we know I'm throwing at you guys. Just take it. I can say center table. I can say coffee table. I can say side table. We are talking about table. Table is table. So in my living room currently, two tables. Actually, three tables in my living room currently i've designed i've decorated this one i have de decorated the one right in front of me so let me talk about the one right in front of me first that area i wanted a space in my living room that can serve as different things it can serve as a dining table as you guys can see there's no dining table in my living room and i don't want one because i feel like dining tables are quite big sometimes they can take up all the old space having this couch alone is big enough for the space by the way my living room is long and big for the size of the uk house my living room is so big but i wanted the space to be a place you can have your breakfast lunch or whatever e also a place where i can chill and relax and maybe edit my video like a office space or whatever these people call it these days and i also have it like an extra seat if i have a lot of people in the house and i wanted it to be appealing to people like when you see it it looks nice i decided to get this um center table from wayfair they actually comes in two they, are, they actually come in two so there's a two a big one and a small one say so mommy and a daddy or a son and and father so they come in two but i split them into two so one is that is at the side of the chair and one is really there is just in the middle of those two chairs i don't want too much going on on that table because as i said they're going to be used i'm going to be using them for some certain things uh for different things sorry so on this table i have put my favorite favorite thing in the whole world <laughs> right now is this my ornament that just literally just give me the vibe of what my future will look like with my guy you know holding the umbrella making me look pretty standing next to a pretty curvy lady and i also have this big picture book on top of the um on top of the table as i said this place is literally you can use it for anything you can even pick up books and just literally start reading and all that and i like it i just leave it as simple as that and also i don't know yeah my laptop that is there i always put them on that table so that was very easy and very simple to decorate for me but around the table i have also decorated the chairs i've put two accent pillow is it accent pillow because for me as i said this living room i want it to not just look so plain i want it to be even though is everything is white black and gray but there's some touch of colors so i've added the troll pillows which i got from primark with it and i've also added the blue troll um, um blankets as well so you know they just complement each other like the colors you can see the colors there and that's what i really want that's where you're going to be seeing the pop of color right on the wall the wall was really plain and i was thinking what can i do to this wall i know i'm gonna put some I'm hard working there, but what do I really want to put? Meanwhile, I have this in my living room. It's always at the stairs over there. You guys can't see. I don't know if you guys have noticed it there before. And I was just playing around and looking at everywhere. And I'm like, oh, this will really look nice in that place. So I decided to add that wall heart or what they call that thing onto it. That also has a lot of colors. There's a green plant in there. I think this is a building of Paris or oh no, one of those houses that look very um what's this world very graphic nice building anyway then there's some values popping up with different colors and everything and at the end of the day when you look at the picture it's very torn down and it actually just creates and divide this whole space at its own like this whole space that you're looking at looks different on its own i know there's no curtain abby where is your curtain are you not gonna put any curtain i am but i haven't just found the one that i actually want or i like you know what i want but i haven't just seen it so there's gonna be a curtain there and that will be the last thing on that side i'll do to that side have i said everything here i think so so let's move down to this coffee table here this is actually my pride and joy i really like it i really love the way every everything just you know works out together the carpet the rug and everything so my house my living all my house is carpet so everywhere is carpet the floor and the 
everywhere basically carpet but i wanted a rug on top of that carpet that is that will pop up of the color so i opted for this light gray with a little touch of dark gray in it so everything is still gray and gray but it's light shade of gray so when i saw this table on um wayfair i was like yes this is all i want i want a table that looks so empty that's not gonna look like it's taking off the old space so when i saw this mirrored squared to i was like perfect i wasn't sure about the size but when it came is actually the perfect size where i wouldn't know yet until my consult table comes in because if it's too short and it's leveling up with the consult table i might not i might not really like it like that like that but anyway when we get to that bridge we will cut we would cross it but i love the fact the way this table is very plain before i opt for this um arrangement of the set of the coffee table before what i did was i had the book the the book that i got from tk max the white book i had it open underneath so you can still see because of course the mirror is mirrored it's literally open i had it open on the floor on underneath the underneath the table and you can any angle you're looking at the book from you can always see it and it's just so gorgeous and i had just my ornaments just standing on top of it but i just wanted this place this table to have a wow picture let it be a very focal point because the room is basically empty for now there's no th nothing on the wall so i changed it and i move on to this um i moved um i tried to put this table on i mean this tray sorry i tried to put this tray that i got very white with the brass um copper gold is it gold yeah gold and do on it and i had the vase on top of it with the flowers the flowers can be changed as i said in my hood um in my hall i can always change the flowers to you know the season right now we're approaching spring so i feel like the flower just brings more colors because i really want colors but i don't want in your face color mm -mm 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 so the green even the green thing and everything is just making really really nice why do i have on it i also have the matches that you know has a black and white still going with the color tone that i really want in the living room but it's not in your face like that it's just really nice and i had my candles i know i did say that i didn't like the the um cover of the thingy and someone did suggest i should paint and i was like that's a good idea but when i when i was looking at it did you guys notice that the flower and the the cover of the candle actually match like even though i was going thinking hmm but actually it is it, it actually working it actually actually do work and i like that so i usually just leave it like that and i have my i don't know if some some people said that on the main today is a panther or is a leopard till now i still don't know what it is but i like the fact that it's just standing on its own and i really love that very simple but it's a lot going on on top of it also i always we leave the camera there on top of the table because there's a, there's a spare space on the tray and the, my camera is white so i leave it there i want in this living room i want things to be useful i want no I don't know if that's the right word. I don't know how to explain it. Like, okay, let's say for instance, now you see how we, where we keep the remote. I didn't have the idea of putting the remote there. But I noticed that since we got the table, the kids always put the remote there. And it's very easy for everyone to go there and say, oh, that is where the remote is. So I like the fact that everything on this table has its own, is useful for something. So on that tray, we put our camera there. So I can know it's like, Jaden, go and bring the guys. Okay, well, by the way, it calls you guys, the camera, the guys. So you know exactly where to go, to go and get it. And likewise, the remote as well. Oh, bring me the remote. Everyone knows where the remote is. So I really like that the table is functional. I think that's what I'm, I'm trying, the word I'm trying to look for, functional, yeah. I like that about that space but for as far as this table has been i've never had any they've never had an, any accident or any issue of knocking themselves on top of it the living room is so big that there's space for them to play without knocking down things literally they can play around and, and not knock themselves out and they're growing i'm so happy that i can get i can design the house the way i want to and i'm not thinking oh my god i have a baby crawling around that will hurt themselves Jaden might be three but that boy is a grand is a grandfather like his head is is just very wise and he's always he knows the wrong from the right oh lord why are people always calling me when i'm doing a video 
okay we are back where was that i can't remember anyway i just love the functionality that the word hey i'm just making up words but i don't mind for for this table but i really really like it very simple i'm bringing in colors and yes i'm going to be and um, definitely be decorating more tables i want a be yeah because i'm gonna be getting a um what's that thing called a console table a console table i'm gonna give you guys a story about that i got it for kind of a free like i didn't have to pay for it but it's coming when it comes i'll give you guys a full story so there's gonna be a console table right there where you guys see the the white stuff and that place is getting painted as well i think that is all for this table that i have I've decorated right now i am loving the the vibe i'm getting in the living room is just i can you know when you have a vision of what you want your living room to be i'm already seeing it i'm basically seeing it piece by piece and also just to let you guys know i'm not gonna have a lot of stuff in the house i don't like a lot of stuff i don't like this one there this one there this one there this one i just want clean stuff and they are functional but they are it's just i and i'm not i feel like my style of decorating that i i like is is it contemporary i think it is i don't like glam i don't like too much stuff everything looking meow 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 no i don't want it i want dark strong very clean line things are there for a pop i need to go and join the interior designing group <laughs> anyway guys i'm gonna oh my god my leg is killing me oh gosh my coffee is cold already mm even cold coffees are nice anyway guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this and i hope you guys are going to be sticking around with me to see the end product of this my living room i'm so excited about it the journey has been long go guys you know let, let's just just now the video has finished if you want to go you can go but let's just just now the journey has been so long like i remember when my living room there was no chair <laughs> We didn't have no chair, but we, we were there. Like, we got chairs, then JD started ripping off the wall. That was one of the reasons why, why I took off all the wallpaper because kids will always be kids. You, you can't tell them not to be kids. Even this table, even this chair that I'm, I'm, that I'm looking at now, I've seen that they've poured me low on it. Nobody told me anything, and I've seen the mark on top of the chair. But I don't like stains and all that around the house. But I cannot tell my kids not to make a mess. But right now that they're, they're growing, they're understanding things. Even they even like it. When I did a um, living room and they saw it when they came back from school, they were like, Mom, I really like this. And Jaden has been sitting on top of that chair. Jaden, and he will put all his Spider Man toys and all that. Those ones. Literally, they, they, you know, when you see good things, they like it. Now they understand. But when they were young, you know, it would have been a big concern of mine. Like, oh my God, why did they knock themselves? Why did they do this? But it's matching our style. They really enjoy it they really like it and i like it this is what i want but i'm so happy i can't wait for the old living room to be finished and that will be all my house completed like my bedroom done their, their room is done living room is done kitchen is done glory be to god i'm fine we're gonna have a house a home this is our home a little home for now and i'm so good i'm so happy anyway talkative abby has finished <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video and what's gonna be the next video Ooh, i'm so excited i'm going to ikea are you guys gonna come with me to ikea i'm going to ikea so i'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to that one because the next thing we are doing we're finding frames and artwork for this wall and also that wall as well anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this i know i've said this before i wanted to end and i'll not come and see another thing again abby talks a lot thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully you guys got something out of this video and thank you so much for all the support abby come and go oh yeah come and go bye guys